Hello, good evening, everyone. <clears throat> How good are evening. you doing? Hello, Rosa. How are you tonight? Uh, okay. Fine, ready. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> Hey, Henry, are you on uh, the steel on the road? Oh my God, you're muted, you're muted, but please watch out, eyes on the road. Hello, I, I stop it, I, I stay in the ah. station gas. Oh, at the gas station, oh. all right. Yes, it's a- It's, it's blocked and risk. Where, where did it say, inundado? Floated, floated, uh-huh. It's floated. Every, every highway is floated. Uh, uh, traffic is stopped. But are you about of getting your home or are you far away from your home? Uh, I going to my home. Yeah, but the, uh, the distance, are you near your home now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that loving with, tells with, everything. Without, without traffic from here is uh, rare. One, one, two hours. Two oh, hours. Without traffic, without traffic. Oh my God, are you, you are you in Santa Ana? Aguachapan. Oh, oh, oh my God. right. Now we get it. <laughs> oh, okay, well, yeah. But no problem. If you're not able to answer when we are participating, uh, it's okay. But try to, oh, are you going to stay there for the whole class? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i don't think so i don't think so good evening teacher hello good evening wilbert how are you tonight uh, i was listening to the conversation henry uh -huh. you stay for a bill are, are you still uh well are you in the same mm -hmm. situation he's saving for a bill who is saving for for him homework Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Say bye to Bill. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He, a thing. <laughs> so he's just looking for an excuse. That's what you said, <laughs> right, Wilbur? All it's right. A, it's now a, we it's get a it. Very, it's, it's a very good excuse. So very, very yeah, good. It's credible. It's credible. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, esa no está como el que la comió el chucho, ¿eh? <laughs> la tarea. All right, guys. Well, eyes on the road, Henry. Please stay safe. So, um, everybody, we are going to start tonight with the practice. We have two pages in the manual that we want to work on. All right. So, uh, they are page. 17, I'm sorry, six, yeah, 17 and 18, 17 and 18. It's about inventory, right? What is inventory? What is that? The inventory, uh, what is that? Do you know what is that? It's a product we have in a, a store or in the, mm -hmm. Uh, store, storage, store, yeah. mm -hmm. warehouse. Remember storage, storage room, storage. warehouse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's available to be sold, right? Yes. So it's ready to the selling process, right? Mm. Also, it's, um, I mean, the stock, uh, maybe there are. I mean, there are like divisions, right? And kind of inventories because we can make inventories of the raw material. For example, we can make inventories of the office's, uh, office uh, supplies, right? We can make any kind of inventory. It means that inventory is a general process, right? Of making a list and coding, right? Coding each uh, resource that comes in to be part of the capital of the company, right? So that's inventory, right? So uh, we are gonna talk about just a little bit about that, all right? And just give me one second because I'm having another, <clears throat> uh, right? Just give me one second.
All right, we are gonna start with that because the last topic was should and we understood just a little bit and we are going to practice that in the presentation. So uh, let's, let's try to do this shorter, right? Vamos a condensar un poco. We are going to condense all the content from the pages 17 and the page, uh, the page 17 and the page 18. So let's go right there. And let me first of all, uh, take the attendance, all right? I will take the attendance. Remember that the, the requirement is that you have to turn your cameras on and you have to say present, right? It's essential that you say present. And it's essential that you turn your camera on. Okay, I was ready and I'm ready again. Okay, Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Okay, Blanca, thank you. Carlos Ernesto, you there? No. Uh, Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Give me one second because I think everybody is having trouble with these uh, situations of the power cuts and all of that, right? Give me one second. Oh, all right. Okay. Ooh. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio, ¿entró? ¿Es en? Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Ah, oh, she's having trouble too. Ellen Nilsson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. Okay. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. All right. Para Wilber, todos es como, oh, sí, ajá, se les fue la luz, right? He doesn't believe, I think. <laughs> Okay, Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. There you are. Thank you, Hazel. Henry Alberto Perez Rosales. Ah, he's on the way. Hernan Antonio, Ch thank you, Henry. Hernan Antonio yeah. eh, Chacón López. All oh, right, uh, Hernan. Presente. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Javier Antonio Cortez Martinez. Ah, he's the one who is, okay, so quick. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Okay, Juan. Uh, Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Okay, Karen, we missed you yesterday. All right. I have problem yesterday. <laughs> I oh. didn't log. Could you couldn't log in? No. Uh, yesterday don't. I didn't receive any message. Uh, okay. Uh, the uh, Instagram told me today about it. Ah, all right, all right. And Can I you wrote explain? in the in the group. Did you? I'm sorry, I didn't take note about it. I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't notice it. Okay, I Don't will worry. check it later. All right. Thank you, Karen. Magdiel Saúl Garcia Morales. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. I'm here, teacher. Present. Okay. Rafael Antonio Barrera Diaz. I'm here, teacher. Good night. Okay. Good evening. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. I'm present. Yeah, I saw you over there. All right. Yeah, you're always early. That's good. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. Present. Okay, Rosa. Another very responsible too. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. No Santos yet. Uh, let me check because I'm seeing some uh, messages on the chat too. Uh, okay, 
they were only one, right? And Hayes, right. Yeah. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Present teacher. Good, Jose Abel. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Abel, a tip for your baby. Talk to, uh, is, it a, is it a baby girl or baby boy? Baby girl. Okay, talk to her in English. Everything that you are learning, please do it. And you will tell me when she uh, gets older. You will see, you will see, right? Practice with her. Okay, right. Yeah, she, uh, she can tell you that you are wrong, all right? So practice with her, all right? <laughs> Good. Okay, teacher. Good. Okay, people, we're gonna start a class tonight. Let me introduce it. Carlos Pérez is present. Okay, Carlos. Thank you for letting me know that you're in already. Thank you. Hello, Carlos Roberto too, right? Tell me, Wilber. Eh, tal vez antes de empezar me gustaría, eh, tal vez si me puede ayudar. Hace días una compañera del grupo uh -huh. de parte de Isafor o de, 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 de la academia mandó un mensaje que también ya se puede dar becas para familiares o amigos o conocidos. Yo ya, ya, ya empecé, bueno, por lo menos ya envié un correo, ya envié un mensaje. Ok. Lo que le mencioné la, el módulo pasado. Yes. Para mi hija. Uh -huh. Siempre me preguntan la edad que tiene. Yo les digo que eh, es el menor de edad, ¿verdad? De 15 años. Oh, pero, 15. Ajá, pero siempre me dejan hasta ahí. Y yo no sé en realidad si un, hay un proceso o hasta ahí muere. Tal vez me pueda ah, Ok, va, mire, lo que hasta donde yo entiendo ahorita, porque está abierto el programa que se llama Formación Continua. Uh -huh. Pero, eh, ¿cómo es el nombre de, de su hija para, para poder reportar y que me le den una indicación de qué ah, puede hacer? Va, ella, yo hice un reporte, pero nada más lo puse con mi nombre porque es, quería saber cómo, cómo ah, seguir. Ah, ok, ok, lo voy, a, lo voy a poner con su nombre, pero regáleme el nombre de ella. Ok. Nelly Arelí Pérez Melara. Ok. Ok. Yeah, because sometimes they have another programs that they are temporary. Hay otros que son temporales y podría tal vez caber en ese tipo de, de programas, pero no estoy al tanto ahorita de programas como esos que existían, ¿verdad? Ahorita solo tenemos nosotros acá, solo tenemos formación continua y sí es para personas con DUI. Y, um, y tenemos el de PNIT, ¿verdad? De, de, para el trabajo, que es cotizantes, ¿verdad? De una compañía del Seguro Social. Entonces, eh, solo esos dos sé que tenemos available. Tal vez lo han dejado en proceso porque estén haciendo algún proyecto del cual yo no estoy enterada, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Ok, yo lo reporto. Bien, vamos a introducir la clase del día de hoy. It's 8.15, so we are going to start by, um, yeah, here. Okay, here we go. He tratado de compartir de diferentes formas antes, incluso con ustedes, y siempre me da, se, se han fijado que cuando yo me quedo frisada es porque he tratado de hacer alguna cosa diferente, innovadora, en donde haya eh, movimiento, animación, alguna cosa así, bueno, se queda todo. Así que vamos a seguir siempre así bien eh, al estilo PowerPoint todavía, ¿verdad? Okay. Bien, so manufacturing is the topic, the general topic for unit one, all right? Uh, this is video conference number five, not four, right? This is video conference number five. Ah, es que me fui a estar, okay, here it is. 
Thank <clears throat> Topic for tonight is obviously, right? You need one vocabulary practice. Do you remember what I see as a grandes rasgos? Do you remember uh, what we studied in this unit? The four topics. Sequence How do you words. Use should. Excellent. Should. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. What Process. else? Steps. Close. What clauses are noun clauses, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Imperatives. How to use imperatives? imperatives yes. Mm -hmm. And the context. The sequences word. Sequence words. Correct. And these are. Uh, these topics are in the context of, of manufacturing, right? Usually uh, when we talk about manufacturing, we are talking about a process, we are talking about making a product, a tangible product, not exactly a service because that we cannot manufacture the service, but we can manufacture a product, right? So uh, we are gonna talk right now about the inventory, right? The inventory. And the inventory is after the manufacturer, or, or it's the last step, right? Of the manufacturing process. Uh, I, I mean, the main, the main inventory, right? So mm, <clears throat> by the end of this class, we're going to identify and we uh, will try to um, define what is an inventory and also we are going to recall some products as specifications all right specifications so that will be our agenda tonight uh we were going to do this shoot feedback i think we are not going to be able uh because we want to do the presentations all right but i promise that we are going to try to do an exercise with student student in the next class all right so the class topic and the objective presentation has been done and we are going to practice a conversation on page 17 related with inventory. And we have a written exercise and on page 18. Then we're going to dedicate the whole um, time or the main time of this class to the presentations, right? First, we are going to the break of rooms to prepare and finish uh, and practice the, the presentations you are going to do, right? So let's go to page, let's move forward and let's go to page six, I'm sorry, 17, right? 17. Bye, miren, la presentación. De, de, eh, hemos hecho algunos cambios en este, en este desarrollo de este módulo a partir de que la mayoría de ustedes no están en empresas que tienen eh, a manufacturing process. Por eso les proporcioné un proceso de manufactura para que ustedes pudieran estudiarlo, verlo eh, y al mismo tiempo poder hablar de un proceso existente, ¿verdad? Por eso hemos cambiado eso. Entonces, vamos a pasar al inventory, que sería the last uh, step, right? The manufacturing process. Entonces, digo esto porque en la página anterior, que es la página 16, si ustedes miran la página 16, ah, no estoy compartiendo todavía, ¿verdad? Ok, perdón. En la página 16 hay una actividad que nos queda, eh, pero eso se va a cubrir ahorita en lo que ustedes van a hacer en su presentación, ¿ok? Que es acerca de eh, que ustedes hablen del de equipo, ¿verdad? Eh, de sus compañías. Esto es relacionado en un manufacturing process. Y era de usar should and shouldn't, pero ya está cubierto ahí en la actividad de la presentación, ¿ok? Bien, vamos entonces a pasar a la página 17. Let's go, let's move on to this page. Okay. 
This is the vocabulary practice for today. So let me read this conversation. Uh, it's related to inventory, right? Jen and Ben are talking. We were busy yesterday. Uh, we had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now, it's three for this year, and the cost is $30 per unit. That's great. Okay. Les voy a dar ahorita 30 segunditos para que lo lean. Please read this conversation and read it, read it aloud, all right? So please move your lips when you are ready. I want to see you moving your lips. Go ahead, 30 seconds from now on. Okay. I know that maybe there are mm, some terms that maybe you don't really know, but maybe you associate, right? Maybe you associate the meaning of it. So I will ask you, right? What the stock mean stock a ver, stock do you have any idea um, material a, disponible it's the quantity on our inventory all right very good the stock right and also we say uh let me see if we have it on stock right let me see and then you go and check if you have it on the list right so, or available, right? For the public or for your customers. All right. So can you define what, what inventory is? They are talking about the caramel and chocolate. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. They are talking about one product, right? And they are talking about the quantity, right? The quantity of that product. All right. But let's try to make a definition of inventory. A ver, ¿alguien tiene alguna idea? The de total que... product you have. Okay. Uh huh. Ricardo, you got frozen. I'm sorry, but we were were not able to Hello? hear you. You, we were not able to hear you because you get frozen, right? Okay. I, inventory, I think, is a total stock you have in your place. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. We could say that is right. And the product that you're talking, according Wilbert, it was the quantity of chocolate caramel, right? They're talking about chocolate again, right? And let's talk about the specification that they are talking about. Or in this case, do you remember that specifications are the um, a qualities of the product, right? And also, the features of the product. Those are specifications, right? 
de este chocolate caramel, from this chocolate caramel that you see in this conversation, what is the feature that they are talking about? They do, they talking about the turnover. All right, the inventory turnover, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's not exactly a feature of the product, all right? Mm -hmm. A ver, ¿quién se recuerda de las features or de las specifications of a product? Do you remember? Uh, okay. Weight. Uh, weight. Uh, uh -huh. Color. Mm -hmm. The cost is a feature. The cost, cost. yes. Cost. The cost. And the cost is the specification they are talking about here, right? They are talking about the cost. $30 per unit. It means that it is not a cheap product, right? It is not a cheap product. So that's great because it is moving because of its own quality, right? Not by the price. So, yeah. Okay, vamos a escuchar. We are going to listen to uh, Rafael Alexander and Jose Abel. Please role play the conversation. Okay. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stop our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. Uh, what was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? Uh, what about the cost? Right now it's three for this year and cost is 30 per unit. $30. Oh, that's great. Right? $30 per unit. That's great. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's listen to Eric Jose and Ellen Nilsson, please. Role play the conversation. Okay. Um... We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory to over for chocolate caramel? Caramel. What Eric? about the cost? Okay, right now, right now it's three for this year, and the cost is $30, $30 per unit. That's great. Thank you very much. All right, we are going to refine some pronunciations. This word is very important. Uh, not that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, here it is. This. Enough. Miren. Termina con una F, este sonido, G-H, lo hacemos como, right, like an F, enough. Everybody, please try, repeat after me, enough. 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 All right. Enough. There, are, there are other words that uh, have that sound too. Uh, I will send you um, a very comic video about this GH pronunciation. And you will see the difference between some words that have these same two words of this blend, right? Like O, U, G, H, right? And they are totally different in their pronunciation, all right? So enough, cuando es la palabra suficiente, enough, then we have a letter F at the end, right? Enough, All right? There you go. Okay, people. <clears throat> Andrea, please with Karen, role play the conversation. Okay. You start, Andrea. 
Okay. Uh, we we were very bad busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now, it's three for this year. And the cost is 30 per unit. $30. That's $30 per unit. All right. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Now let's listen to Magdiel and Wilber, please. Role play the conversation. Okay, teacher. I'm going to start. Um, John. We were, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now, it's three for this year. And the cost is $30 per unit. That's great. Very good. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you very much. Okay, we have over here, right below this conversation, some definitions. Okay, these are some definitions to these words. These words, they are right there in the conversation. They are using these words and we are going to try to match, right? To complete uh, or to match, I'm sorry, to match the term with its definition. Okay, to do it, we are going to go to our PowerPoint, all right? We are going right here. We have this. In order to complete this activity, I would want to see if, uh, if you can access to the board or to your screen. Alguien que tenga acceso ahorita aquí a la, a la computadora, aquí en el control remoto tengo de entrada, tengo a Rafael Antonio Barrera. Rafael, ¿usted puede entrar? No, teacher. Yo no. estoy por una tabla. Oh, ok. Vamos a ver, tengo entonces... One second... Bueno, de, el siguiente es Ricardo Tony. ¿Puede usted ingresar? Ricardo Tony. Sorry, teacher, I stay in my tablet. Can you hear me? Okay, yes, now I can hear you. A ver, right. entonces tenemos a Rosa del Carmen. Hasta se estaba poniendo para abajo para que no le dijéramos, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok, no problem. Ay, uh, me cuesta, ticho. Le cuesta un poquito, ¿verdad? Ok, <ríe> bueno, entonces lo haré yo. O alguien que, que, que quiera voluntariamente hacerlo. Es solo de mover el cuadrito hacia la definición. Sus compañeros le irán diciendo. O, o si gusta, es como okay. que es lo que debo hacer. Acá. Ahí está Pedro. Ahí ah, está. ya está ahí. Va, Ajá, okay. Pedro. You are right here, right? Bien, okay. entonces yeah. le voy a ceder el control. Ah, pero no lo tengo definido a usted, Pedro. Vamos a ver, lo vamos a buscar. Ahí está. Hoy sí, ya salió. Ahí le cedí el control. 
everyone is going to help your classmate better, right? Me voy a poner en silencio. Solo quiero recordarles que cuando nosotros damos una definición de algo, hay keywords to follow it, right? Hay keywords. Entonces, busquemos por ahí cuál puede ser la keyword y así lo ponemos, ¿ok? Ok, me pongo en silencio y ustedes trabajan. Solo présteme un ratito el mouse para ponerme en silencio, Pedro. Vamos a ver. Free feel of, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, feel free of participating, all right? And the number one is a particular amount of anything. Quality. Talk, I think. I think it's quantity. Quality, number one. Second one. All right, no problem. Then, well, you see that we tried, right? Lo intentamos por todos los lados sabidos y por haber. A ver, vamos entonces. Okay, go ahead. There you are. Thank you, Karen. Go ahead. Okay. This one we can move. Okay. Yes, continue, Karen. Continue with your classmates. Thank you. The second one. Well, this a second. This is the chart. Inventory. Number two, inventory. 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 Number three, cost. Cost, yes. Number three, cost. Number four, inventory turnover. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Inventory. Inventory turnover. Number four. No, no, no. The nom the inventory estaba bien. And, and inventory turnover. Turnover. Number four. Number five stock. Great job. 
Great job. You did it, guys. So now you are able to associate the keywords to a definition, right? And usually we want to translate, but now we see that we can give a definition for each word. We can relate keywords. For example, quantity, amount, right? Quantity is amount. That's the keyword. Inventory, listing of merchandise. Inventory, stock, right? Uh, stuck on hand, right? Cost, what will be the keyword for the cost? Price. Price. Price, yes, price. Now, what about the inventory turnover? Number of times. Yes, because it's like a rotation, right? And it's something that, uh, yeah, something that uh, it finished and it started over, right? So turn over the movement of something in a cycle, right? So that's turn over. Así se llaman también los de McDonald's, ¿verdad? Very delicious, those turnovers. Eh, los uh, apple pies, right? <laughs> they are turnover because they are in a machine, right? Turning over, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about the stock? What will be the keyword? Uh, product in product. the inventory. Okay, product and in the inventory, right? Inventory, right, there you are. Okay, people, then we did this one. Let's go to page 18. On page 18, we have some products. It's kind of, um, I mean, they are presentations of products, right? Presentations of products. In that activity, what we have to do is read the, de I mean, the presentation uh, or the label, right? And then, uh, we want to write in this chart, we have a chart right there, to classify or to define the specifications of each product, right? Go there. Okay. There we go. Okay, this is page 18. And here we have to read each product of this company. And we want to see what specifications are noted or defined in these presentations. So let's read the first one. Do you want to read the, uh, to read the first one, please, um, Ellen Nilsson? Okay, and the spicy peanuts, coffee, right? Yes, like a broke custard, right? With your voice, right? There you are. Okay. okay. Our spicy peanut toffee is made with butter toffee, roasted peanuts, and cayenne, oh, cayenne chili. This is what is new for me. Cayenne, cayenne is cayenne. It's a, a spicy, right? It's a spice uh, to, okay. yeah, for flavor, right? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and cayenne chili pepper. The spicy peanut toffee is the perfect combination of sweet, salty, spicy, and crunchy. Delicious. It sounds delicious, right? Okay, and what yeah. is the price? It's $7.50. Seven very good. Thank you very much. Carlos Ernesto, can you read the Charles Candies? Presentation, please. Okay. Tortured candies. Box signs starting and with six piece. A rich buttery caramel. Fresh roasted pistons. And dark or milk chocolate. Okay. Pecans. Pecans, they are some seeds like okay. almonds, uh, a family of almonds, right? Pecans. They are delicious okay. too. Mm -hmm. And what's the price you told me? The price is uh, $6.30. Uh, 
Very good. Thank you very much. Let's listen to um, Blanca Alejandra. Can you read the description of chocolate covered caramels? Chocolate covered caramels. Chocolate pure caramel and chocolate. Box sizes starting with six pieces, $7. Thank you very much, Blanca. Okay, Jose Abel, please read the next description. Um, chocolate dip it. Dip. Dip it. Ah, dip. Uh -huh. Our chocolate dip nugget is made from our all uh, se lee el, el guioncito. No, no, no. Just say uh, the word. Is, okay, it's made from our old fashioned, fashioned nugget candy recipe and contains just the right combina combination of honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. All right, very Seven good. dollars. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, this is butter, butter, right? Butter, like that, butter. A ver, otra pronunciación, old fashioned, and you corrected it, it's okay, old fashioned, old fashioned. Así como tradicionalmente, ¿verdad? La antigua, right? Uh, nugget candy, recipe, miren, recipe. Recipe. Mm -hmm. Recipe. And let's look at the other. Someone said something that I forgot. Ah, fresh roasted, roasted, roasted. Okay. Así sería esta, porque hay una T al final, hacemos Ted. Vanilla teacher. Oh, yes, vanilla. Uh -huh. Vanilla. Vanilla. Okay. Vanilla. Honey, okay. A ver, eh, cayenne and hmm. peanut, peanut. Peanut es maní, ¿verdad? Entonces, peanut, nut, peanut. Mm -hmm. Teacher, what is spicy? Spicy is eh, especial picantito, right? Kind of. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Spicy. That's it. What uh, that's why it has chili pepper in it, right? In it, mm -hmm. chili pepper, chilito, yeah, chilito del bueno. All right, we have to see which specifications are in each description because maybe they don't have all the specifications but they have some of them, all right? Some of the specifications. So let's try to do the first one. What's the name of the first product? What's the name of the first product? Oops. The name of the first product. Mm -hmm. Spicy peanut toffee. Spicy peanut toffee, okay. Entonces, en la descripción sí tenemos el nombre, right? So, we are going to write spicy peanut tough. Uh, no me voy a poder estar moviendo. Ok. Pero es algo así. Ok. Vamos a irles diciendo y después yo les muestro la carta eh, que yo he preparado precisamente por eso, porque no me iba a estar moviendo, se me iban a mover todos los elementos ahorita que los iba a ir poniendo acá. Ok. What's the. Uh, is there a code related in the description? Is there a code in the description? No, no right. Um, it's not related, the, the code over there. Maybe the code, it's, uh, it's added when it gets into the inventory, right? So they assign the code, maybe, we don't know. Sometimes products, has, um, products have codes. For example, cosmetics, have you seen, they, they have to have a, 
uh, code. Why? Because of the colors, because of the um, variety they offer. But in this case, well, I don't think there is another chocolate with that uh, recipe. So maybe that is why it doesn't have a code and they guide themselves, uh, themselves in the company by the name of the product, right? Spicy peanut top. All right. Uh, does it say the size? Does it say the size? Like box with six units? Does it say about the spicy no. peanut topping? No. It doesn't no, it say, specific. right? Okay, it's not a specific Good. Let's look at ingredients. Are they describe it, described in this presentation? Yes, they are. Okay, what are the ingredients? Um, sweet. Um, no. mm -hmm. Is the butter, plastic, uh -huh. butter, coffee, rose, uh, chili paper. Very good. Después de la frase, is made with or is made of, then we know that it's about ingredients and materials, right? So is made with are the ingredients, is made of is the materials, all right? So butter, toffee, roasted peanuts and cayenne chili pepper, very good. Okay. Let's look at the next specification, wait. Does it say the weight? No. Is there the weight? No, right? It is not there, right? So we are not going to put anything in that box. Uh, what about the price per unit? Yes. Okay, how much is the price? How much is each unit? Seven. Seven. Ajá, digámoslo bien, seven dollars. Seven dollar fifty. Fifty cents. Cent. Right? Yes, fifty cents. All right, let's look at the next one. Total candies. Well, that's the name, right? Total candies is the name. So is there any code related? Is there any code? No code, right? No letter teacher. Okay, there isn't. Uh, there, let's, there look, isn't so. uh -huh. let's look at the size. Is there described yes. the size? Yes. Okay, what's the size? Uh, six pieces for books. Okay, they come in boxes, right? And the sizes start with six pieces. So maybe they have boxes with more units or with more uh, pieces on it, right? So yes. Mm -hmm. And it says the size box with six units. Yes, right? What about the ingredients of that total candies? Uh, those, I'm sorry, total candies. Mm -hmm. The ingredients. The ingredients are buttery caramel and fresh roasted pecans, dark or milk chocolate. Very good, very good. And the last feature that we have in that description is the price, right? And the price is? Uh, $6 with Okay. okay, very good. So now let's think about the chocolate covered caramels. Well, that's the name, right? Mm -hmm. What is the name? Chocolate covered caramels. Estoy con un problema acá con el audio. Okay, I think it's better like this. Chocolate covered caramels. Um, that's the name. Okay, is there any code? And what about the size? What about the size?
If you want to participate, please open your mic. Okay, Carlos Ernesto. Six, six piece, pieces. Okay. Very good. Box with six pieces, right? Starting from. Mm -hmm. What about the ingredients? Just chocolate, right? Just chocolate and caramel. Pure, pure, pure caramel and chocolate. All right. And what about the last product? Ah, well, the price is seven dollars, right? Okay. What about the last product? Chocolate deep nougat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. Are there the ingredients in the description? Yes, honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. Very good. And it's an old fashioned nougat candy recipe, right? There you go. And what's the price? $7. Thank you very much. Okay, so at the end, you will have a chart similar to this. And that's the way that some companies make their inventory, right? That's the way they make a list of the products with its, I mean, with their specifications, right? Describing the product itself, right? Describing the product, the prices, the presentation, the size, okay? And other specifications that are important for each company, okay? Other specifications that are important for the company. Okay, so it's going to be similar like the, similar to this, right? Do you want to uh, do a screenshot? You're welcome to do it. I will stop sharing. Okay, people, then we finished the um, unit one, okay? We finished unit one. And now we want to practice as much vocabulary as possible. How? Doing a presentation, all right? So everybody is going to the breakout rooms right now. Just let me- Teacher. Tell me. Uh, call the roll. Thank you very much. Yeah, mm -hmm. good point. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, please turn your cameras on. And when I call your name, say present. Are you ready? Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Okay. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermudez. Present no. teacher. Okay, Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present. Okay, Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Elenilson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Thank you for the text message. Henry Alberto Perez Rosales. Here I am, teacher. Okay, are, are, are you still stopped? In San Juan Opico. All right, okay, so you're on, on your way. Javier Antonio, oh, well, he's not on, uh, on this course anymore. Um, Juan Francisco Salmeron Alas. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Juan. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present, teacher. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. 
Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Santos. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Ok. José Abelis Aguirre Mendoza. Present teacher. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok. 15 minutos les alcanzan, ¿verdad? Para terminar Present la presentación. Teacher. I'm sorry, Hernán. I'm sorry. Let me see. Thank you. Okay, I checked you already. Checked you in already. Thank you. Okay. Uh, aquí tenemos los grupos. Solo nos faltaría agregar a Karen, ¿verdad? Y... Solo a Karen, creo yo, ¿verdad? Ok. Bien. Ahorita los voy a mandar y luego Karen la voy a asignar, ¿ok? Everybody ready? They're ready. Oh, también Rafael Antonio, ¿verdad? Rafael Antonio no está asignado a grupo todavía. Ok. ¿Yo? Yes. Ahorita lo voy a asignar a un grupo. Okay. There you are, Karen. There you are, Rafael. Please join to uh, join room three. Carlos Roberto, are you having trouble with the connection? Carlos Roberto? Hay que poner, digamos, una lámina, el nombre del, del, de la etapa y una foto. ¿Y cómo se va a explicar? Según palabra de nosotros, no textual, así como dice el libro, para no, no complicarnos mucho. Okay. Es, Ay, tiene la teacher. Sí. Hi, teacher. Can you help us? Yes, here I am. I was looking for the microphone. All right, here I am. Tell me, what's going on? I have a question. Okay. About this activity. Mm -hmm. 
what are we doing about it? I I prepare a presentation about the steps, but I don't know if if it is. Yes, because you had to describe the process of making the bottle, right? Mm -hmm. The manufacturing process. So you uh -huh. divide the content of all the process and you will describe the process, each step, mm -hmm. using the sequence words, right? Using the word clauses, right? Using the vocabulary we uh, learn in class, right? It's, mm -hmm. very, it's a very nice presentation, Karen. It's a very good job you Thank have you. done yes very almost ready i didn't finish it <laughs> all right go ahead and practice there you are okay. mm -hmm. thank you teacher all thank right. you teacher all right no problem okay Le voy a dar el acceso para que usted lo haga. Quiero ver. Ahí sería que usted me solicite anotar para que yo lo pueda transcribir después. Es que eso es lo que a mí me cuesta. Yo como tengo la vista de... Le pongo a aquí le voy a anotar o como no sí. remote control Espérame. control remoto ah, está request, en la parte baja re request, request remote control ya yeah. es que sí. yo yo hice un yo hice una presentación si quieren la pueden ver. Ah, ok. Comparte. Voy a dejar de compartir. Ok. Pero... Porque yo, yo, o sea, me pues, estuve viendo eso que, el, que la, la teacher me mencionó y entonces espérenme, si, si les favorece, creo que nos favorece porque al final es algo y nos ha dado 15 minutos. Yo ya la había preparado ahí medio. Espérenme, ahorita, ahorita. So you practice the, the speech. There are morals in the coast. <laughs> Can you see the my my screen? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this this is the uh, the presentation, <laughs> and the the only what I do was uh, take a picture and uh, mention the step and the subject of the of the step. This is only what I do. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, if you want to check, this is the uh, the the design. Be because only I only do the design. Okay. Um, Very good presentation, Carlos. All right. So now you just divide the content and practice the speech, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, see you later, guys. I'm going to see another group. Okay. Son cuántos pasos? Son nueve, ocho. Nueve. Ocho. Son ocho, perdón. Perdón, son ocho pasos, pero son nueve sliders. Sí, porque el paso cuatro tiene dos tipos. Hello, guys. Are you ready? No, ahorita eh, estamos viendo un video. Oh, okay, okay. Take notes, right? Okay. There you are.
como esto con los, con los eh, esa es la cuestión, relacionarlo con lo que hemos estado viendo. Eh, Ahí está la eres. palabra en negrita. Es Vaya, por ejemplo, la, la, la dos dice the portion should is a cure, a cure. No sé cómo se dice esa última palabra. Accurate. 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 Mm -hmm. Ok, ahí la, gra uh, la gramática sería the portions should be, should be accurate. Instead of this. Mm -hmm. Yes, because it has to be the infinitive, right? Ok. Okay. So, uh, to make sure. Okay, así sería entonces. Okay. Okay. Pero yo creo que nos falta eh, Hazel. Hazel. En el chat okay. escribió. En el chat escribió. Uh, Hazel dice siete y ocho. O siete. Pero no está terminada, ¿verdad? No, la última no. Try to introduce the sequence words. Right? Remember the sequence words? First, second, mm -hmm. next, after. Okay. Okay. Bueno, sí, eh, Hernán, este, si gusta, digo yo el 5 y usted el 6, pues para que tengamos participación todos. Sí, sí, así, así está bien. Ah, entonces, sí. repitiendo, quizás entonces, este, Andrea sería la, el nombre de la compañía, ¿verdad? Ya que se dedica uh -huh. y, y dar esta, estas, estas tres líneas. De ahí sería Eric con estas dos. No. O bueno, o sea, también, sería la Andrea, presentación. Quizás, y, y, el, y el paso uno. Ah, ok. Entonces quizás nos corremos, Eric. El dos y el tres. Mm, así digo el yo, tres. cuatro y el cinco. Hernán, el seis. Y, y Hazel, el siete y el ocho. ¿Está de acuerdo, Hazel? Sí. Ok, vale. Bueno. Entonces, si quieren, practicamos mientras... mientras. Sí. Ok, perfecto. Practiquemos, entonces. Ok. Bueno, ya, ya le tomaron captura. Ahorita. Pero sería de poner la presentación a la hora de, de exponerlo. Sí. Uh -huh. Así como está. Tal y como, tal y como está. Ya, ya le tomaron captura. Sí. Más. Vamos, André. Hi, teacher. I am alone in this breakout room. You are in the main room, so you have to join your group. You have to join. You have to go to room number four. Okay. All right. Please, Henry, go where it says Sala para Grupos Pequeños. And you have to click on join room four. A ver, lo voy a mover, pero no le dé al primero para ayudarle, ¿ok? Porque no me va a dejar. Bueno. Lo voy a mover. A la primera no le dé y luego yo lo reubico a la cuatro, ¿ok? Ah, va, va, está bien. No, no, no le escucho nada. Uh -huh. 
Bye. Hoy sí ya le puede dar ok. Okay, Henry, here you are with Wilber and Juan Francisco. So you may talk to Wilber. Okay, thanks, teacher. There you are. Wilber, here is Henry with you. Okay, okay. Hi, Henry. Hi. Vaya, ahorita, eh, ahorita creo que Juan Francisco no me ha contestado todavía, pero me imagino que va a estar viendo el video o va a estar trabajando, no sé. Eh, ahorita lo que he estado haciendo nada más es ver el video y, e ir anotando. Ah, okay. yo creo que el video. Hola. Si da, el video como lo vimos ayer, si te iba sí. dando como que. Ese. Pierce, yeah. Ajá. Sí, cabal, el, el, el que indica los pasos. El segundo video que, que vimos. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, bueno, te comento después, sigo viendo el video. Chivo, chivo. Chivo. Wilber and Henry, Man. por la situación y la dificultad que tienen ahorita, eh, los voy a reubicar en otras salas en donde ya están avanzados, ¿ok? Para no que se problema. unan ahí, para que eh, así Henry está tranquilo manejando y usted, Wilber, se une con los que ya adelantaron un poco con el video, así se le va a hacer más fácil. De preferencia right. los que ya terminaron. <risa> All right. No huyas, cobarde. <risa> así le quería decir usted a Henry, ¿verdad? Ahora. No, 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 no. No, no it's just joking, just joking. Okay. I know, we are just kidding, all right? <risa> ok, ok. Ok. Ahorita los voy a reubicar. Ok. Producción, ustedes. Vale, perfecto. Solo que permitan. Hello, Carlos. Uh, right now, uh, just joined uh, Henry, all right? Henry was on his way, is on his way home, so please. Uh, he's going to be listening to you if you uh, have something for him to, to share with you, all right? Henry okay. is right here with you to work. All right. Bye. We can buy a film and Okay, Henry, you may participate with them. All right. Hola, Henry. Hola, Henry. Bienvenido. Thank you. Henry, este, nosotros habíamos estado, este, esta sería la lámina que vamos a presentar. Ok. Ok. Okay, bien, uh, the first one. Hello, Rosa and Karen. Hi. Hello, teacher. Okay, uh, it was just joined Wilber because he was alone in the group. So 
please incorporate him here, right? Okay, okay teacher, thank there you. There you are. Okay, teacher. Okay, a eso nos hace falta ponerlo. Um, eh, más bien, no sé si lo, yo tengo, pero... Okay, class, I hope everybody's ready. And uh, we're going to start in the backward order, right? I will start with the last group. It was number three because we had to dissolve the room four. And so room three will be the first room to participate, all right? The first group. They are Blanca Alejandra, Carlos Roberto, Elenilson Aparicio, Juan Francisco, Rafael Alexander, and Rafael Anton. Okay? It's your time. Please. Okay, teacher. Uh, may I share my screen? Yes, you may. Yes, you may. Okay. Uh, you. 
what I'm going to see in your presentations or great in your presentations is the grammar, the correct use of grammar, the, that you use the vocabulary from the class and accuracy, right? Okay, there we are. You may start. Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry, my, my screen is parpadeando por, por la compartición. No sé si eso afecta o lo están viendo, pero a mí se me está parpadeando. Uh, it's okay. It's okay, we can see it. Oh, yeah, pues ahora a mí me está parpadeando. It's your computer, yeah. like that mine. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to start, but uh, in, in, I'm going you know. to start. What? Va a empezar usted. Yeah, I, I, I will be the interview. The start. So uh, we are the group three. We show you uh, what is the manufacturing from uh, the pro to do the process of a glass bottle. Uh, my partner Blanca uh, is the next. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the first step. First step, what they do is prepare the raw material. For this step, and the raw materials include soda ash, limestone, and collect. And all these raw materials are sourced from certificate, certificate supplies and raw incoming quality. And only that. Okay, and the step two is the batching and mixing the raw material. The quantities of material must be controlled to, gu to guarantee the quality of the product. Uh, for, for this step is step uh, three. Uh, the, uh, the, the raw material uh, illuminated it should be um, put on fire. It, uh, the, the, the level of the fire it should be take with um, cuidado, con cuidado. I don't remember how you say, but uh, uh, this process is very important because uh, if the level is more uh, more hard or if there are more fire uh, the, the, the raw material could be uh, uh, mixed the uh, ground, ground form okay the step four Step four, uh, this is the next. What they do is blow glass forming. And this is the widely used method for forming glasses. The next one, please. Five, I think. Uh, five, five, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, then in step five, they have or should anneal in the material. Yes. The next one. In the step, in the sixth step, uh, the 
the personnel uh, should uh, check the quality of the bottles. Uh, they uh, should uh, check a split uh, uh, finish, uh, co crumbles, uh, deformations, model scenes, of the vertical finish, uh, hammer appearance, thin walls, blisters, and cord in the in the all uh, all bottles in the process. Profile, okay. uh, can you? Hello, Rafael Serna. Uh, creo que era Rafael. El otro Rafael. Ah, oh. uh, uh, no, other, other Rafael. I'm sorry. No, yo, yo no tengo nada. Te lo diga porque no, no logré copiar nada. Ok, no hay problema. Uh, step, five, uh, step seven. Uh, surface treatment. Uh, this, is a, this is a surface treatment. This treatment is done once the product is finished. Go ahead. Step um, A is oh, the okay, last okay. step. Is the last step. They they check and then before that they check the the product, they packaging and delivered some some stores for for sale. All right, they deliver for or they do the distribution, right? All right, very good, very good. Congratulations, guys! You did a very good job. Uh, I just want to make some. Uh, <clears throat> some observations, all right? So thank you very much for sharing, Carlos. You did a very good job with that presentation, very professional. All right, look, when we talk about a process, we use the sequence words um, in the right moment. It means when we talk about something that comes next, right? And we have to be careful when we use plurals and singulars, right? So if we say, for example, the next step, all right, the next step. But if we say the next steps, you have to explain more than one step, right? And uh, the other was uh, when we use should, acordémonos de la, eh, Estructura gramatical de las oraciones con should. Should plus the infinitive, all right? Should plus the infinitive. So we cannot use ing after should. We cannot use also um, to, right? Just the bare infinitive after should or shouldn't, all right? And um, the last thing, uh, for the other groups, please use as much vocabulary as you can, right? A ver, de todos ahorita pongamos, le damos el like al grupo que acaba de pasar. A ver, todos en reactions para darles el 100. A ver, there you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. More than the half, right? All right. There we go. Tell me, Andrea. Ah, all right. Okay, then the next group. The next group will be, le vamos a dar la oportunidad al grupo uno, el número dos va a ser el último, right? Andrea, 
Carlos Ernesto, Eric José, Hazel, Henry y Hernán. All right. It's your time, guys. You may start. Bye. Good night, teacher and co-worker. Let's talk about uh, the retail is the company of manufacturing glass bottle. The manufacturing process has eight steps. The first, uh, raw material preparation. Sand, soda hash, limestone, and recycled glass. The second step is batching and mixing uh, to guarantee the quality of butter. The portions should be accurate. Uh, the third step is the melting. The melting is to uh, 1,600 grade centigrade uh, in the in the glass factory, always work uh, 24 hours and seven days to make stout temporary. The next step is blow glass. And there are two types of forming process, narrow mouth glass bottle and wide mouth glass container. And, and next, Next one, um, annealing the glass bottle and mold into an annealing layer and low kiln. Step six, uh, quality checks. They convene aromatic check and mono check the sure are to make sure that the glass bottle successful pass in injection of quality standard. Uh, next seven. Uh, surface treatment. Then they are performed on the exterior of glass bottles when they are complete. And finally, package and packaging and delivery for me. Excellent. You did a very good job, guys. Thank you very much for sharing. All right. Yes, you use the vocabulary from the class. You use, uh, uh, you forget about the imperatives, but it is okay because you describe the process with essential um, vocabulary. And the grammar, it was good, right? The grammar was good. And let's look at this. So everybody, please, let's grade your classmates. Do you give a like? Okay, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right? Eight likes, right? Eight likes for group two. Oh, okay, again, nine and 10. All right, 10. So you've got the 100%. There you are, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's listen to the next group. Room four, there were Karen, Magdiel, Pedro, Ricardo, Tony, Rosa del Carmen, and Wilber. All right, you may start. Okay. Uh, okay. I would like to share the introduction. Uh, for joking and not and don't have a nervous. Okay. Third, um, the step one is raw material preparation. Um, 
the raw material including sort of harsh linen stone and call it what is recycled glass. In the next, in the next step, uh, we explain for the classmate Wilbur. Okay. Uh, the second step after uh, preparing the raw material. Mm. With batching and mixing. Mm. First, we bring up glass for all the side to light. Then, uh, the next for portion matters. Finally, to make sure consists the quality of all batches of the glass bottle, the mixture portions have to be acquired. Uh, step three, milking. After a uh, batching and milking, we continue. We mix a uh, material. Oh no, no! First, the mix of road are not being molded in the. Um, Heating. Heating. Heating formants under um, 1,600 uh, centigrade. In this step, we get milk glass called good. Uh, the original condition of a glass bottle. In a glass bottle factory, with glass furnace always work 24 seven to make sure temperature and reduce energy waste. I don't know who, who's next. Step four. Oh, Karen? No, nah, the Manta's last ones. Oh. <laughs> the step step four, blow glass forming. Um, first, blow glass forming the molding glass are then molded into desired bottle shapes in the blow forming process. Next. And step five, annealing. And the glass borders are moved into an annealing layer a long time to lower, lower the heat. Who goes next? I am the step number seven, or, or, or I beginning there? No problem with me. Six. Yes. All right. To you. All right. Uh, step number six. Six. Quality check. Um, what employees say uh, is this process are very safety. What I think is uh, the place maybe are hot to work, and this uh, step. The glass bottle uh, quality and checking manual and automatic firm. Um, uh, and this uh, step uh, uh, should be uh, uh, checked very well the, the product because it's the, the final product with the, we have. Next.
Okay. The surface treatment is the late, late uh, step when the factory put the sticker to each bottle. And the last one is the packing and delivery. The glasses, the bottle glasses are packing in, in boxes to be to carefully to deliver at the customers. Very good job, excellent. Excellent, very good presentation. The material was accurate and was right. Very professional. All right, thank you very much for sharing. Okay, and uh, just remember that when we do things uh, by the book, sometimes we forget to use the class vocabulary, right? Because we are in a level where we need to practice the class vocabulary to enrich. And it's important that you check the um, robotic, we could say, right? Or the uh, grammatical use, right? In, um, in a script of a video, right? Because it's, uh, it's uh, very professionally, um, prepared, but it's important for us to tell in our own words too, right? What we are trying to learn to say. And well, you did a very good job, congratulations. So um, just remember to use the imperatives, all right? Imperatives, uh, use should to give advice and um, the sequence of words when you talk about a process, all right? Okay then, guys. Congratulations, every group worked outstanding, right? Outstanding. The process was complex, the video was long, the process was long, but it wasn't that long as the one that we have in the manual. Remember that in the manual, we had one, a very difficult one about the chocolate, right? So it was kind of difficult and complex too. So it was kind of pairing, right? Okay, people. So is there any question so far about vocabulary in unit one? No, teacher. No? No questions? Okay. Allow me to no, check. Me. Excuse me? It's good. All right. So let me go ahead and go to. All right, I think this is the one that I want you to, to do, okay? I will send the link. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, it's almost 10. Okay. Les voy a pasar ahorita un link aquí en el chat para que practiquemos un poquito de shoot. Este es un test que tiene tres partes. Ok. Ahorita solo vamos a hacer la primera parte. O sea que cuando ustedes caen en esa página, cuando ustedes caen en esa página, ahí donde dice exercises, ahí ustedes ponen uno. Ok. Uno. Ahí está. Ese es para un A2, el uso de shoot. ¿Ok? Solo la primera parte. You've, you've got to be careful with the apostrophes, with uh, the so contractions, right? And write the, um, the bare infinitive of each verb. Uh, um, in companion with shoot, all right? Llegaron ahí? Okay, go to number one. Arriba, ustedes miran que hay exercises one, two, and three. Entonces, marquen el uno. You mark number one. We use should to say or to tell someone what we think that is right or wrong, right? Giving advice. Lo hice, pero me las tiró todas malas porque la S iba en mayúscula en todas. Yes, all right. It was a technical thing, right? All right. You may try again if you want. You have to go back and then mark one again. Click on one.
How's it going, guys? I'm finished. Did you finish? All right. Yeah, but I have uh, too bad because I forget that in uh, negative, we didn't, we didn't use contracts. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, but no problem. Now you are not going to forget it, right? Okay. Use as much, as much contractions as you can, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And he said that we can use contraction in negative statements. So for that reason, I have two buts. Oh, does it say there? Because I said yeah. we could we could can do I it. show you? <clears throat> yes, please send the send the the screenshot if you've got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, in the local only the exercise one, guys, because it's already 10 o'clock, okay? I finished, but uh, it showed me all all the tests wrong. <laughs> all the tests wrong? Maybe yeah. it was for the apostrophe, or maybe yeah. it was uh, that uh, you used the uh, capital letter. Maybe. Uh, it should it should be because uh, it has apostrophe. Yeah, but the apostrophe. Um, Sometimes we use the tilde tecla, right? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes we get confused with that. And for us, it seems similar, right? But in the system, all right, who finished? Ellen Nielsen, you finished. How was it? Yes, teacher, but uh, the whole test, it's bad because I used the capital letter. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, we, right. okay. we can do it tomorrow at the beginning of the class, all right? Just to, just to practice. Uh, en, okay. en todo formulario, en, en un sistema, pues hay reglas que ponen, ¿verdad? Y, y a veces eso nos hace la cascarita, ¿verdad? Pero eh, así nos pasa también en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Así nos pasa que la mayúscula, que el punto final, que el signo de interrogación, right? Okay, people, then tonight, the turn for, for the session one-on-one, -on -one, it was for Claudia, but Claudia isn't present. So um, it's not joined. So the next one in the list, Number six is Ellen Nielsen. I don't know. I don't know if Ellen Nielsen wants to stay with me the ten minutes after the class. Yeah, it's okay. All right. All right. Okay, people, let me call the roll. Remember to turn your cameras on and say present. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez, Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermudez. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos present. Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto Aleman Prudencio. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Ellen Nilsson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. Eric Jose Hernandez Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry, okay, Hazel. Henry Alberto Perez Rosales. I'm still here, teacher. Still on the road. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Well, watch out. <laughs> Hernan Antonio Chacón López. Presente, teacher. Okay. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Karen Tamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present, teacher. Okay. Magdiel Sao García Morales. Present, teacher. Okay, Juan. Okay, Magdiel. Uh, Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Present, teacher. 
Ok, Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Eh, Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. José Abel Izaguirre Mendoza. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay, class, have a very good night. Remember to do your homework up to number five because today we finished unit one. So uh, auditory, it's going to take it, right? So please do it and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, good night. See you tomorrow, good night, everyone. Okay, Tony, okay. There you are. All right, Ellen Nilsson, here we are. Do okay. you have any question about the vocabulary or the grammar or any content from unit one? Uh, yeah, uh, my doubt it's about ING. Mm -hmm. The, bueno, it is, para ponerlo en claro, todavía no, no, yo sé que el, el, el ING tiene varios usos, porque se puede usar como futuro, eh, creo, yes. no estoy mal, eh, para un futuro cercano, pero hay ocasiones en que si no mal recuerdo también, si hay una preposición, no, es, no me recuerdo si es antes o después, se pone el verbo con ING. Yes, it Entonces, is correct. After prepositions, we use ing. Those are gerunds. Gerunds. It's not that they okay. are they are conjugated or a conjugation. It's that they are gerunds. It, that's translated as the um, ending in Spanish ar ir at the same uh, uh, as in Spanish, right? And also they yeah. uh their function is also as subjects or nouns too those are gerunds right so after prepositions okay. of after before right you use an ing verb form right before eating okay. after having a shower right you use ing right mm -hmm. okay excellent and the next one is the noun clauses this is for reinforce one idea, right? And, and, and I, I don't know, it, this is uh, my, my doubt. This yes, is it is correct. For... No, no, it has different uses because the noun cl clauses are completely dependent. And sometimes the whole noun clause is a subject, for example, right? For example, uh, the use we studied in this class was as a subject. We used the noun clause at the beginning of a sentence and it was explained or um, using the to be verb, right? Remember, we said what you need is to take a shower, right? <laughs> For example, yeah. right? uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. what you need is to eat healthy if you want to. Uh, lose weight, for example, right? So it's okay. a subject. But what you yeah. were doing uh, in that in that situation is, for example, if you say, right, I want to lose weight, right? I want to lose weight. Uh, and then is when I want to reinforce or to do it more important, right? And then I say, what I want is to lose yeah. weight, right? Okay. So yes. Okay. Or remarking oh. my idea, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, the use of should. This is uh, always the verb is in, in in infinitive. Yes, but the verb infinitive. Verb means that it doesn't have to, right? Mm -hmm. Because okay. the infinitives have to but a bare infinitive is without two. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. And that's it. It's All okay. right. Very good. Very good. You're okay. doing a very good job here. I like your pronunciation. Uh, you have a very good, a very beautiful voice, right? You have a very <laughs> beautiful you. voice, uh, really manly. And um, yeah, you're doing a very good job here. So remember to do your homework, all right? And to participate okay. in the discussions to practice more, all right? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much and okay, for your time me. too. No have problem. Have a good night. Have a very good night, you too. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'll Bye -bye. see you. See you tomorrow.